assalamu alaikum i hope so you all are fine and doing very well so today we are here with an another lecture and the topic is basically complete denture overview so we will uh, be overviewing uh, about the complete denture today uh, you can see uh, in front of me there is a picture of the complete denture uh, this is a uh, maxillary denture and this is mandibular denture and this and together they are called basically the mandible they are called the complete denture okay so let's start with the name of allah almighty now so uh, what happens uh, the, in the first step whenever a patient comes to you uh, in a clinic he or she will ask uh, uh, to yourself that uh, uh, sir uh, we need a denture so first you need to do the oral examination of that patient how uh, how will you proceed you will take its history and then you will uh, ex uh, do examination and uh, diagnose his case basically uh, uh, because in some patient as you can see in in such patient here uh, it is basically the full edentulous so you need to first examine either the patient is uh, uh, partial uh, partially dentulous or edentulous because complete denture is always given in the case of uh, uh, edentulous patient so do uh, you first need to do the uh, oral examination of the patient very well you will see like here this is the uh, alveolar ridge uh, residual alveolar ridge of the mandible you need to examine it or palpate it either it is uh, uh, sharp or knife edge etc and you need to look for the uh, maxillary ridge as well because uh, the whole retention of uh, that denture will depends upon these ridges uh, you need to know that either uh, your uh, ridge is being resorbed or not. Uh, in the most cases, you will see like uh, uh, in the mandible, uh, after the tooth is being extracted, uh, the mandible uh, alveolar ridge is being resorbed. So you, sh you should check for the uh, uh, ridge as well, either there is any resorption or not. Okay, so first step is uh, you have like taken the or, or history of the patient and uh, and if he, he is for if he is he or she is there for you for a denture then you need to check his uh, alveolar ridges basically are they being resolved or or in what shape they are and then you need to pro, uh, proceed with a treatment plan that how will you uh, go uh, uh, with the patient for a denture so uh, after diagnosing the patient condition and uh, going for a treatment plan then uh, you need to know that uh, uh, what is its tissue health? Either its tissue health is uh, good or not. Some patients are using their old denture, uh, like in old age, most people are using their previous denture as well. Then you need to know uh, their uh, denture conditions as well, as well as uh, tissue health. If uh, the denture is uh, uh, wearing off the tissue health, then you need to improve the tissue health with the help of tissue conditioner. Okay? So you need to check uh, out the tissue condition as uh, well. So you need to improve the tissue health as well. So for uh, the improving the tissue condition, then we have to realign the denture. As, as you have seen that if this is a uh, mandible uh, denture, then we need to realign it to, for to improving the uh, tissue health and tissue condition. Okay, you can see that here. Now, some patients have their denture as well, uh, but uh, either it is broken or there is another cause uh, uh, which can uh, they, they complain uh, for it uh, uh, like uh, hurting is it hurting or not so do repair their denture as well if it if it's necessary okay now moving forward uh, the first step uh, when you are making uh, a complete denture is always a preliminary impression you need to take the impression of uh, that patient you can use uh, different materials uh, impression materials but you should always uh, go for the impression material that is suitable for the condition. Uh, and uh, you need to uh, have a impression tape for it and imp impression material uh, for uh, as well uh, for recording the pri primary or preliminary impression. When you are done with taking the preliminary impression, primary impression, do pour, your uh, uh, do pour it with the, the dental stone so that uh, you can uh, make a diagnostic car, cast uh, from that impression okay uh, so pour that diagnostic car after that uh, remove it from the impression day and your diagnostic cause will be out okay so uh, 
uh, i hope so like you are getting my point uh, till here now in the next step what will you do the diagnostic cause which has been taken out from that impression uh, after you have poured it uh, then you uh, need to uh, make a custom tray uh, from it the more accurate the impression basically the more accurate the custom tray would be made so with the help of uh, uh, the custom tray you will uh, with the help of uh, the imp uh, accurate impression you can make a more uh, a, a, a accurate uh, custom tray so what will we do basically you will uh, take an impression here and uh, we, you will uh, make a custom tray uh, from the your uh, cost, your cast uh, the study cast basically here uh, premium impression here you have uh, made uh, your custom way with the help of acrylic so uh, uh, what are you doing in the next step you need to recall the patient and you need to uh, do border modeling of the patient you need to record the accurate registration of the peripheries uh, for the retention so you need to record the peripheral uh, borders of the patient and periphery for, so that uh, your denture uh, can have a great retention basically so what in this picture you are seeing that uh, this was uh, the uh, your uh, your custom way that you made from the primary impression with the help of uh, the acrylic it's it is made up of acrylic uh, at the ferry phase you have uh, have uh, you have yeah, at the ferry free you have like uh, placed uh, yeah at the ferry free like you have placed uh, uh, this uh, material of uh, impression uh, for uh, the this is basically zinc oxide eugenol is being used here you can see that so uh, uh, sorry zinc oxide eugenol will be used uh, in here uh, so for the recording the accurate uh, secondary impression here but for the uh, border molding we have placed here uh, the green stick sticky wax this is all the green sticky wax is being used for the uh, border molding okay do remember that for border molding uh, you 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 are using green sticky wax and uh, on the uh, for the secondary impression we will be using zinc oxide uh, eugenol impression paste okay so uh, border molding is done with the help of a green stick as you can see here this is a green stick and then uh, uh, you have placed the your custom tray uh, in the maxilla and mandible uh, so to record the accurate registration of the peripheries for the retention i hope so uh, you have got my point uh, till here now now what what are we doing in the next step basically Uh, when we have recorded our uh, uh, border molding, our peripheries are being recorded. Like here, you can see the green stick has recorded our peripheral uh, muscle movements and attachments. Then we have to uh, remove it and load the impression material. Uh, then we have to fill it with basically here uh, with uh, the zinc oxide eugenol paste and impression material. Okay. Then we need to take the final impression. The final impression is. then recorded you can see like this is a very much beautiful uh, impression final material uh, final impression is being taken you can see like uh, the post parietal seal is being recorded like here and there you can uh, easily see rugae and size papilla as well so this uh, you have uh, made up a, fi a final impression so in the next step what are we doing uh, then you need to uh, go for a uh, box impression stronger cast with peripheries for pro processing so you need to made uh, it's uh, basically uh, uh, master cast then uh, when after that when you have made a master cast the uh, pour with master cast uh, 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 pour it with a pour the master cast when the master pass is being created then you need to create a base the, uh, do remember that the bases are always made up of acrylic uh then then uh, the base is being formed with the help of acrylic material after that then you need to make the occlusal rim with the help of uh, the modeling wax uh, you can see that these are wax rim basically this is a maxillary wax rim uh, and these are required for basically for jaw relationship so after uh, you are completed with the final impression then you uh, are making the uh, record base 
acrylic plates basically and then uh, with them uh, up above them occlusal rims when the occlusal rims are being recorded uh, are made then they are used for making the jaw relationship record okay with the help of face bow record uh, you can relate maxilla to transfer hinge axis so face bow records are very much important because they relate maxilla to the transfer hinge axis as in the picture is shown this is basically a uh, this is used basically used for mounting the maxillary cast same relation to two transfer hinge axis you can see that uh, in this picture basically it is a uh, uh, articulating the maxillary cast here so uh, then we need to determine the occlusal vertical dimensions as well uh, we need to find the obd with the help of a ruler facial height separation of denture as well uh, we will place uh, one edge one on the tip of uh, the below the nose and one on the tip of uh, the highest point on the chip like here you can see that uh, uh, the occlusive occlus vertical dimension is being recorded here okay so in the next picture you can see uh, after you have recorded the ovd then you have to record centric relaxation uh, as well for the centric relation relaxation both anterior posterior and medial lateral relationships are being recorded like in this picture you can see that uh, uh, the centric relation is being recorded and it the seal is being made here both anterior posterior and medial medial laterally this is basically being sealed upper and lower uh, uh, dentures uh, 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 occlusal limbs are being sealed here and they are being articulated on, uh, uh, on the articulator so mandibular uh, uh, cast is also articulated then when you have uh, uh, articulated them then you will uh, go for the uh, tooth setup uh, in the tooth setup first you need to do the anterior tooth setup like in this picture you can see that all the anterior teeth have been set up mm, uh, the central incisor lateral and canine canine to canine basically upper and lower and the uh, ability to visualize and change appearance basically you can uh, check with in the patient uh, uh, relate with the patient uh, Uh, requests uh, that uh, which type of teeth uh, it form because uh, anterior teeth do play an important role in the aesthetic. You can ask the shade and the color of uh, the tooth uh, you are being uh, selecting for the patient for uh, the uh, indenture. Then you need to uh, uh, place the posterior teeth as well, uh, following the uh, class one uh, relation and uh, uh, maxillary molar relation as well. Uh, it should be in occlusal or occlusal. then you need to do a final wax up as you can see all the anterior and posterior teeth have been set up and you have uh, done the final wax up as well in the next step you will uh, do you will articulate your denture uh, in a flask uh, for the further processing now what have you done basically you have flask the uh, uh, the, the tooth and uh, you have uh, carried out the wax up uh, de-waxing is being carried out basically like in, in a sense you have placed uh, your uh, whole denture in a flask and you have filled it up with the impression or with filled it up with the uh, your material of uh, dental stone now what are you doing you are doing the boiling out of wax and removing the record bases so what happens when you remove it you you see that uh, all the wax is gone and the teeth are left on the one side and your denture is being left on the uh, uh, your uh, cast is uh, being uh, left on the other side so teeth are basically trapped in the stone you can see that in this picture so then you need to pack acrylic resin uh, uh, this will be heat cure acrylic you need to uh, use a heat cure acrylic now and then you need to in the first uh, steps you were making uh, the self cure uh, acrylic now you're using the heat cure acrylic so what are you doing basically you are packing the acrylic resin Hyd hydraulic pressure will be uh, injected uh, will, will be used or injection will be used okay then remount and adjust for processing error basically then we will remount and adjust for the processing errors so what happens after you have uh, uh, the uh, uh, acrylized uh, your tincture you will remount it and uh, check for the uh, processing error fabricate and remount the index basically then remove the cast finish and polish okay then you need to uh, uh, remove the cast from above from it and you need to finish it and uh, uh, and polish it as well okay and the end what will happen basically 
you will need to you will need to be uh, remount and adjust oxygen okay if there is any higher spot do remove it okay so this was all about uh, how a uh, uh, complete denture is being made uh, what are the steps in this formation and um, uh, after that then you will uh, insert in the patient if it's good then you, uh, you will give it to the patient and do call the patient for the uh, follow-ups as well tissue conditioners can be used if uh, there is a uh, like uh, not a good uh, uh, retention okay so these are the variation of dentures which are being used in prosthodontics there is single dentures uh, in which uh, uh, only uh, one maxilla or mandibular dentures over complete dentures are being made there are over dentures you can see that they, these pins are being placed and they are used uh, for the over dentures and there are then there are immediate dention you can see that uh, 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 just as the tooth are being removed uh, so you have placed the immediate denture after their uh, uh, extraction so these were all of the variation single dentures uh, or single complete dentures over dentures and the immediate dentures so just uh, for a quick revision i would uh, uh, i will i will just uh, revise all the steps for you guys so that uh, you can uh, have it have a key sense of uh, what we have done so far so so first step was basically in recording the impression primary impression p dot i i am i am referring it to the p dot i because uh, it was preliminary impression first you have uh, taken the impression in an impression tape with the help of impression material or, uh, of the patient in the second step what you did was basically pouring uh, that primary impression making a diagnostic cast so dc means a diagnostic cast is being prepared from it in the third step what you did basically you uh, you uh, made a self cure acrylic plate uh, which was also called as custom fay so a custom fay with the help of acrylic was being formed from the your diagnostic cast what you did on the custom pay then you called the patient again and then you border molded uh, the uh, custom pay uh, so to record the ferry freeze uh, 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 for the greater retention so border modeling was b dot m border modeling was done and the final impression was also taken on that day as well with the help of the ring oxide using all impression material okay then the final impression was being carried out on the patient as well after recording the final impression what you did do you did you uh, uh, pour the final impression pour the cast and uh, prepared the master cast when the master cast was being prepared you made the uh, self cure acrylic bases the bases uh, self cure ba acrylic base was prepared self cure acrylic base and then uh, uh, for the recording the occlusion uh, uh, for uh, recording your uh, jaw relationship you made the occlusal rims so both occlusal wax rims were being formed so in this way we proceed after making the occlusal wax rim then you uh, went for the jaw relationship in the jaw relationship you noted down the ovd and rvd as well as you noted down the centric relation and uh, then uh, you sealed both the maxillary mandibular cast uh, occlusal uh, occlusal rims uh, and mounted it on the articulator after mounting on articulator the both uh, the whole upper and lower uh, uh, cast uh, what uh, did you do uh, then you uh, started the tooth setup first you place anterior tooth setup and then you go for the uh procedure to set up when the to set up was being completed then you went and uh, for the uh trial in uh, if uh, final wax up and then you go for a trial in. Uh, when the trial uh, trial in session was good with the patient and patient uh, like the retention and you see all the retention was good then you go for the final step which for, which included uh, de uh, waxing the whole the denture Uh, uh, uh so far and then you uh, did acrylization in which you uh, added the heat cure acrylic and uh, after that uh, uh, you uh, deacrylized it as well okay 
then uh, the whole denture was taken out and was remounted again again to check either uh, there was any error or not after that you remove that cast and denture separate and denture then you did is polishing and finishing and then you uh, insert it in the, into the patient in the final step and then you call the patient uh, uh, for the follow ups if it's uh, uh, having any issue or not and you have given the post denture instruction to the patient as well so this was all about our today's lecture i hope so it was being useful and uh, if you still have any query you can ask me in the comment section thanks a lot uh, for the today's lecture i hope it was very useful thank you for the office